in Nashville, Tennessee. Hundreds of chairs were reportedly removed before Donald Trump's speech at the National Religious Broadcasters NRV, International Christian Media Convention. The former president and Republican frontrunner arrived late, causing a serious delay in the event's lineup. According to reports from Vivian Jones, a journalist for the Tennessean, Trump appeared two hours and 40 minutes after the NRV presidential forum had commenced. The delays in Trump's arrival led to the removal of hundreds of chairs from the convention room. The room is far from full. About 20 minutes ago, staff cleared out about 300 chairs from the far back corner. Photo on the left was taken just after 7 p.m. Photo on the right was taken just now, Jones wrote on X, formerly Twitter, along with two images from different perspectives in the room. As OK previously reported, during his speech, Trump urged Christians to back his third presidential run, framing the upcoming election as a religious battle. He emphasized the importance of preserving Christian religious views and defending them against potential censorship. Trump's rhetoric resonated within the audience at the forum after he highlighted his commitment to safeguarding religious freedom and expressed his determination to fight back against the prosecution of Christians in the U.S., referring to a group of anti-abortion protesters who were convicted by a Tennessee jury of violating the Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances Act. During his speech, Trump claimed that the moment he wins re-election, he will appoint a special task force to rapidly review the cases of every political prisoner who has been unjustly victimized by the Biden regime. According to Real Clear Politics, recent polling data suggests that Trump is a runaway favorite in the GOP primary, sitting comfortably at 74.9% of likely Republican voters voting for him over his only opponent left in the race, Nikki Haley. In a head-to-head -head race against Joe Biden, the former president faces a much tighter race with only a 1.1 point swing in his direction, putting his lead within the margin of error. Many voters have openly stated that they wouldn't vote for Trump if he were convicted of one of the 91 criminal charges levied against him. Tennessee is set to vote in the GOP primary on Super Tuesday, March 5, along with Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Iowa, Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Texas, Utah, Vermont, and Virginia.